Earth Object Alert. NASA issues alert at three large asteroids approaching Earth. This happened a few day ago, days ago. The three large asteroids prompt NASA to issue near Earth object alert. NASA has identified a trio of space rocks heading to our planet just a few days ago, and the largest of the series could have caused a cat catastrophe if it did hit us. This by Harry Petit on News AU. Now, these three rogue asteroids were set to speed uncomfortably close to Earth. The largest of the three could have caused a catastrophe if it smashed into our planet. It was as large as the Leaning Tower of Pisa in Italy. That's according to NASA, which lists the asteroids on its Near Earth Objects Alert page. Uh, we have another one, as, as we know, in 10 years approaching us, the asteroid Bennu, Bennu B-E-N-N-U, U, is a threat to life on Earth, and NASA has a plan to destroy it. But that's another story. Now this one here, again, because of the fact that we have had a tremendous number of asteroid impacts in the past, just about one every million years, from uh, my previous videos you'll see from yesterday, astronomers have examined the craters on the moon and craters on Earth, most of which of course are underwater, and have estimated that we have about one asteroid strike every million years, but they figure that this rate is increasing as time goes by. In other words, we have asteroid strikes more frequently for some reason. And they alert us to the fact that this has to be something that we have to deal with, especially with Bennu coming with his first approach in just 10 years. Now, the first uh, was to pass January 15th at speeds of over 3 miles per second. That's 17,380 kilometers an hour. And that was known as 21986. And the 17-yard object would have skimmed two, mile, two million miles off Earth. That's all. That's pretty close, astronomic-wise. Or about eight times the distance between our planet and the moon. The second space rock was to fly was uh, a 219 AM8 and uh, would be far larger than its predecessor, approaching at twice the speed of that and as big as the blue whale, and it would hit speeds of almost seven miles per second. That's 40,555 kilometers an hour, as it was to pass Earth January 16th. The asteroids would have passed our planet just over two million miles from the surface, or eight and a half times just between Moon and Earth, and the third asteroid scheduled to have that close shave with Earth was 2019 AG7, and that would have been the biggest of the lot, measuring 51 yards in diameter, meaning it's as wide as the Leaning Tower of Pisa is tall. 2019 AG7 was scheduled to fly over November 16th, reaching speeds of 24,333 kilometers an hour, that's 4.2 miles every second, so it whizzed by at uh, less than a million miles off our planet, about four times the distance between Earth and the Moon. As many as 12 near-Earth objects are expected to fly past our planet between now and the end of this month, and the trios are not unusual. Now the good news is that the asteroids are actually classified as small bodies by NASA, which does not believe the objects have, would have posed any threat to life on Earth, even if they were to collide with our planet with an on-course collision. Asteroids of this size often break up in the atmosphere long before they reach our surface. Quote, global catastrophes, end quote, are only triggered when objects larger than 1,000 meters or 1,000 yards smash into Earth. This is according to NASA. Now, what is the difference between an asteroid, a meteor, and a comet? An asteroid is a small rocky body that orbits the sun, 
Most are found in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, and they can be found anywhere, including in a path that can impact Earth. A meteorite. Uh, when two asteroids hit each other, the small chunks that break off are called meteoroids. A meteor. If a meteor enters the Earth's atmosphere, begins to vaporize and then becomes a meteor, on Earth it looks like a streak of light, light in the sky because it, 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 the rock burns up. A uh, no, meteorite. If a meteoroid does not evaporate completely and survives a trip through the Earth's atmosphere the, it, and lands on Earth, at that point it becomes a meteorite. Now a comet. Like asteroids, a comet orbits the Sun, but rather than being made mostly of rock, the comet contains a lot of ice and gas as well, which can result in amazing tails being formed thanks to the ice and dust vaporizing. Now uh, I mixed up Bennu with Apophis. Please forgive me, Apophis is a 370 meter diameter near-Earth asteroid caused a brief uh, period of concern December 2004 because initial observations indicated a probability of a 2.7 percent that it would hit Earth April 13, 2029. So that's in about 10 years. I, I mixed up Apophis with the Bennu. It's Apophis that's first coming towards us and um, until 2006, the possibility remained that during the 2029 close encounter with Earth, Apophis would pass through a gravitational keyhole, a small region no more than half a mile wide that would set up a future impact exactly seven years later again, April 13, 2036. This possibility kept it at level one, the Torino impact hazard scale. So that's uh, the Apophis coming first towards us in 10 years, 2029. Then we have the asteroid Bennu with possible Earth impact in uh, the first approach, 2060. Now we've sent uh, the Osiris Rex to Bennu and uh, Bennu is a target of the Osiris Rex mission the asteroid mission by NASA is intended to return samples to Earth in 2023. That's only in four years. They, because they want to study it, uh, the Osiris Rex spacecraft arrived at Bennu after a two year journey and to obtain the asteroid samples. Now, that is also having a possible Earth impact. On average, an asteroid with a diameter of 500 meters, that's 1,600 feet, that's about a third of a mile, can be expected to impact Earth just about every 1,300, sorry, 130,000 years or so. This is all according to Wikipedia of NASA information. Now, Earth impacts by potential Earth impacts by Bennu between 2,169-2,199. Cumulative probability of an impact will not exceed 0.17 percent. But what they want to do is try and set up an asteroid uh, mission whereby they can uh, reposition the asteroids or destroy them somehow by nuclear. Uh, setting off nuclear uh, devices and somehow save the Earth from another asteroid impact. So I'll leave links below for you for this. Also, it's not just the space agencies that are keeping an eye out on this, it's also the amateurs that have helped out in spotting. And then again, we have meteorites that come flinging at us out of nowhere without anyone noticing them. For example, that's what happened in Russia in Chelyabinsk a few years back. That came out out of nowhere and nobody saw it coming in. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media.
These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.